Okay, Derek's not gonna make it. He just got called into work and is leaving right now. All right, I slapped a heart on it. Uh, I don't want to bother him with a bunch of bunch of horse shit. Yeah. <laughs> He's probably not having a very good morning. Probably not. I would imagine not. Well, here, let me go to the bathroom real quick. Sure then, thing. Right. Yeah, we'll get into it. Well, so I guess we'll kind of we'll kind of just keep it real loose, and we'll. I think it's. Uh, well, this is going to be the sixth episode, right? Um, I believe so. Okay, so that means it's, it's my turn to start it again, and I'll get to that at some point. But uh, we can just kind of piece this together, and it can be a, a very special episode where we don't really talk about too much music-wise <laughs> and just hang out okay. for a little while. Uh, all right, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that is... It's unfortunate that Derek got called off to work. Yeah, it is. <laughs> but it does kind of, kind of absolves me of not, uh, not confirming that we were going to do it. Because an emergency is an emergency, and it's just going to happen right, yeah. when it wants. Mm -hmm. So even if he would have been planning to be here, he'd... <laughs> still unfortunately be honest, <laughs> I was just doing everything I can to justify it. Uh, <laughs> so how was the week for you oh the weekend was fine just fine um yeah uh uh flew by um yeah I, yeah went really quick <laughs> um yeah the girls uh didn't end up staying the whole night uh penny came back at uh around 10 30 oh and then, really yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, Penny was trying to go to sleep and there were still girls running around and everything and making noise. And then uh -huh. um and then once Andy got back uh to the event, uh Violet wanted to go home. So. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so Andy Andy just spent all night driving all over the city and Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> luckily, luckily it was close. Um, not, not I thought you were going to say, luckily, we only have two kids. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Uh, 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 correction, Violet didn't want to come home. Violet wanted to sleep in the cot Annie had instead of in her sleeping bag on the floor. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, but other than that, um, yeah, nothing. Uh, yeah, just yeah, the week just flew by. I did, yeah, a couple vocal takes on you know some stuff I've been working on, you know, for a couple Heck days. Yeah. Heck yeah, yeah. Really, that was about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, I'd say it was your week. Oh, oh you got week, to get into week was pretty good. Um, yeah, I got some. Uh... Got some got some things shuffling behind the scenes right now that uh, we'll keep low key for the time being, but yeah, generally, generally an overall a frank and productive week. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> so yeah, things are good. Weekends going by too fast. Uh, thankfully, I got a lot of errands done yesterday, and so today is going to be chiefly. Spent around the house cooking and cleaning, which is, you know, that's a good Sunday. So yeah. I can't complain. <laughs> <laughs> Except for laundry. Yeah. I'm, I, I hate doing laundry. Oh, so do I. So do it's I. The, it's the least gratifying thing. Yeah. It's such a process. And the only point that you feel like you accomplish something is once things are like folded and put away or hung. And it's so huh. long, and it's not an A to B. It's like an A to F process. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> uh, right. Uh, yeah. And then the socks. The socks are the worst. Oh, yeah. Hot take. When I was single. That's our hot take, our controversial <laughs> yeah. shit. Laundry sucks. <laughs> yep. Uh, when I was single, it was easy. Yeah. When I was single, because it was easy, because all my socks matched. 
You know, <laughs> uh, yeah, that and everything can just be in a basket. <laughs> You're right. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Like, okay, this is the this is my basket in the corner where stuff is clean, and this is my basket here where stuff is dirty. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> and just yeah. we we live in the uh, the space between. <laughs> <laughs> the beautiful is help me have stasis mm -hmm. right and then the girls that uh they'll have different colored socks with patterns and then some socks have the same pattern but they're different lengths oh so, yeah you know, so you think you got a match but you don't yeah all these subsets of socks that you never would have thought existed <laughs> I'll go back. To, so I'll go back to wearing calf socks rolled down when we're wearing shorts. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, more of a, I'm more of an ankle sock chap myself. Yeah, me too. Me too. Yeah, I don't like. The, I don't like the bunching that you get with rolling down those calf socks. Right, right. Either that, or you know, I think we should bring back, you know, wearing uh uh, uh, knee link socks with uh, sh uh, with long shorts, so you look like you, you know, you're a founding father, you know. Ooh, all right, man. There we hot go. take number two. Welcome back to sock talk. I am John. <laughs> this is Josh. Oh, so what's your favorite texture in your socks, John? I mean, soft. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's all gotta right. be soft. All right. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> Me personally, I always hate it when you get the seam in between your toenails. You know, your big oh, toenails. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's <laughs> yeah, a seam that creeps down and folds under your pinky toe. Like, mm -mm, mm -hmm. get it out of there. Get it the hell <laughs> out of there. I'm not here for it. You've got to go. you got to go now. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather have I'd rather have just an open toed sock <laughs> than a seam in a place that <laughs> shouldn't be. There we go. Oh, here we go. Here we go. How about how about instead of socks? Because we mostly sweat, you know, on the bottom of our feet, if I'm correct. That's that's what I'm thinking. Like, that's where all the stinky stuff comes from, right? See, I mean, it seems right. I mean... Okay. I'll, I'll, so, I'll go with it. So how about instead of socks, how about sock pasties? Ooh. Just okay. go on the bottom of your feet. Yeah. Or what about... Uh... What <laughs> what about like a pad for your foot? <laughs> like oh. you could just soak up <laughs> soak up the sweat. Oh, even better. That's even more convenient. <laughs> what about a tiny fan built into your shoe that would circulate the <laughs> and wick away the sweat? Uh, that's I mean that's I, a shoe discussion. <laughs> so, yeah. That's I'm sure that would it's moot. I'm sure that would require. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure that would require an app. <laughs> an app, a subscription, batteries, uh -huh. charging. Nope, more Update. trouble than it's worth. Yep, exactly. <laughs> hot take number three. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, all right, okay. I've got another hot take for you. Dress socks suck. Oh yeah, they do. I hate Absolutely. them. I hate them. I hate them. They're they're so slippery, and they don't like they don't treat your foot right. They don't give your foot what it needs nine times out of ten. No, they don't. Absolutely not. And yeah, you're right. You, and you feel like you're gonna slip out of your shoes. And yeah, yeah. You either feel like you're gonna slip out of your shoes, or you're gonna slip on the floor if you're. I mean, God help you if you're going sock footed in a hardwood floored house. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like you will probably it's good thing that you're wearing dress socks because you're about to dress for your own fucking funeral. Right. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Hmm. Against nature. It is. It is. And then yeah, and then yeah, they're so thin and just yeah, just no cooking. Um no cushion. Yeah, no you cushion. Feel every footfall. Mm. Mm -hmm. ah, this is some pretty high concept shit. I'm loving it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
maybe that's why they're required and you know in you know normal settings because they keep you awake you know <laughs> keep yeah. yeah. you standing up straight and yeah <laughs> yeah yep because even the <laughs> just a just a couple degrees shift and you're going down <laughs> right right <laughs> but another uh oh and then another thing i do not love is uh they're convenient but i do not love them is uh shirt stays you ever you ever wore those the what now shirt stays come again shirt stays <laughs> i have no idea what you're talking about you're gonna okay. have to give me all right so they're basically um like the male version of a uh garter belt right oh okay okay i've seen them in movies yeah yeah so you clip uh, you got these two, uh, rubber band thingies, not really rubber, elastic. And then you clip the front of your shirt and then the back of your shirt. And then you pull the elastic down to the bottom of your feet. Right. Oh my gosh. It goes all the way from shirt to sock. Uh-huh. Yep. So what? <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, does it really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it keeps you. <laughs> No, no, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you're fucking with me. You have to no, be. No, look it up. Look it up. <laughs> yeah, I you refuse. Got yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It keeps your uh, it keeps your shirt from uh coming out and coming out of your pants and uh, bunching up. <laughs> that's that's the stupidest. <laughs> <laughs> they're real uh. <laughs> okay i'm all right Here. hold on <laughs> oh good <laughs> do you have photos <laughs> uh these are these are uh oh wow these are a l- little bit more industrial than the ones I've used before, but yeah. Uh, uh, I don't know. Oh, let's. Uh, oh, that, uh, here. The, uh... <laughs> I think I saw the outline, the broad strokes <laughs> of the apparatus. Wow. <laughs> These all have white backgrounds. So I... Oh, wow. Boxers. Those are boxers right there. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's wild! Yeah. Wow! Huh. And then you also have you also have the unfortunate experience of when the uh, elastic loop uh, slips off slips off of your heel. <laughs> oh no! It, does it come for the fellas? Yeah. Oh, it does, oh, yeah. doesn't it? It comes for the yeah. fellas. I mean, <laughs> physics <laughs> physics says it has to. God damn! I couldn't. <laughs> Imagine going through my day just just wondering, <laughs> like, today the day? Is it going to happen? Am I going to get? <laughs> <laughs> and, like, so, okay, I would assume that that's probably a situation that lends itself more to happening, like, when you're sitting down or standing up like when you're transitioning between yeah because it it, it, like so every time i i sit down or stand up i'm just gonna be like holding my fellas (laughs) (laughs) clenching my butt cheeks yeah get get ready get get ready for it you know (laughs) (laughs) counting it down three two one we're clear. Thank you. <laughs> God bless. <laughs> oh, no thanks. But you've you've worn these. I have, yeah. Under what certain like was this required during your military service? It wasn't these required, but it, uh, no, no, it wasn't <laughs> required. But it it definitely helped uh, keep your uh, your dress shirt in from you know. Ooh, okay. Yeah, you know, punching okay. out. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right. See, I mean, I guess, I guess if it's worn in a context of like work function, because I mean, I I know, 
your appearances is super important in that kind of a situation. I suppose I could get it, but like, <laughs> yeah, the only experience that I've had is like seeing those in movies, and it's always some old timey, like dim witted, you know, fifty year old white guy. Who's like dumpy wearing a nasty wife beater and like you see his uh, sock garters? And, yeah. Uh, yeah. And you're just like, what? <laughs> like, what are you tucking into where? Like, fuck your life, man. <laughs> <laughs> He's usually got like a empty, like a half empty fifth of uh, some cheap liquor. And <laughs> yeah, yeah. That he's a four seconds away from smashing against the wall because he's so mad. <laughs> yeah, it's like, and then the overflowing ashtray on the end table. Yep, yep. Mm-hmm. Life, oh, it just didn't work out. It didn't quite get there for him. <laughs> Thrice divorced. He's working to pay his child support. His kids don't want anything to do with him. <laughs> he just blew the Johnson account. <laughs> Probably going to end it all. <laughs> and, you know, he's having some pretty dark thoughts, but he decides to get up, take a walk, and then he gets snapped directly in the balls <laughs> and just throws himself out the window. <laughs> the garters were the last straw. <laughs> yeah, just flap it in the breeze <laughs> the way down. <laughs> <laughs> when he, when he hits one of the buckles <laughs> or clasps or what have you <laughs> shoots down the street and shatters the windshield in some guy's Porsche and he's just like, "Well, that's what insurance is for." <laughs> 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 or, or even better um so w- while he's falling like uh the garter gets caught on a fire escape and so, <laughs> so he's like he's, he's like 10 feet off the ground and like, <laughs> and i was like i can't even kill myself right <laughs> it's such a such a strong bungee effect and he's got so much momentum that yeah, it does save his life, but it definitely comes. He like slams him into. He slams him into the fire escape a time or two, oh, okay. <laughs> like a paddle ball. <laughs> <laughs> Tuesdays. Wow. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> and then and then and then after and then after he's done being paddle boarded uh he's just hanging there and then a thought bubble like oh, this is why garfield hates mondays yeah right <laughs> then the emergency services come to cut him down at the same time one of his ex-wives is showing up looking for money that he owes <laughs> And a hunky fireman saves the day, gets her number. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, I was gonna, I was gonna go with us. Uh, shows up with her, uh, with her personal trainer boyfriend. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. <laughs> well, the- okay. Let's <laughs> let's merge them. Shows up with her personal trainer boyfriend. Leaves with her personal trainer boyfriend and the hunky fireman. Oh, there we go. Yeah, <laughs> this is yeah, this is a loser I was talking about. Jazz, see him just hanging there. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, uh, yeah. rough night for Lonnie. <laughs> <laughs> then he goes back to his sad, lonely apartment and. Eats a cold, uh, eats a cold can of spaghettios, and <laughs> <laughs> oh man, what's worse, spaghettios or dinty more beef stew? Hmm, I've never had dinty more beef stew. So really, oh yeah. man, 
Okay, well, I feel like you have to try a can so that you could properly weigh in on this. Oh, that's right. <laughs> It's, I mean, it's, I mean, it's essentially dog food, but it's kind of good at the same time. Yep. <laughs> it's one of those weird in between things. It's like a poverty staple kind of thing. Right. Because, like, yeah, I guess you're getting some nutritional value from it, but like, are you <laughs> really? <laughs> are you though? Or did it? Yeah. Oh. Uh. <clears throat> so okay let's let's segue from i mean now it's a segue from a segue but uh dress socks the opposite end of the spectrum like grippy socks and like trampoline park socks i mean you've got yeah. kids i'm sure you're familiar you know they've got the the little treads yeah, the, and whatnots on the bottom. I yeah, kind of have a love hate close. relationship with those. Cause sometimes you need the give that they can't give. Huh? Right. You know, it seems like you could wrench your ankle if you're if you're walking around on something that's not a trampoline. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then if you yeah, if you take a uh, corner too fast, yeah, they're, they're yeah, the socks will give you you know the uh They'll give you too much resistance and you end up snapping your ankle. Yeah. I mean, you don't, you don't get that, excuse me, that, uh, that Tokyo drift kind of action swinging it around yeah. the corner. <laughs> uh, have you ever seen Tokyo drift? I have not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jesus. It's a stupid, that's probably why they brought it. Did, did they do? Okay. So they did fast and furious. They did fast and furious two, And then they did Tokyo drift. That and then they were like, we should probably just bring back Vin Diesel. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, like, here's the thing: I've definitely seen like a part of probably one of the first couple movies, and I was like, I have no interest in this, and that was the end of my exposure. But uh, I have listened to most of the episodes uh they did about the fast and furious installments of how did this get made that uh that yeah. podcast that <clears throat> Derek got me turned on to a while ago and right. uh those episodes are really good <laughs> but yeah no, <laughs> i don't have a whole lot of experience with the movie firsthand <laughs> oh okay oh i'll have to check out uh those podcasts then uh those specifically <laughs> um, a lot of them have uh, Adam Scott on as a guest. So if you're an Adam huh? Scott fan or anything like that, he's pretty good. Okay. Nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tokyo Drift was, I mean, as far as uh, As and Furious movies go, it was pretty stupid. Uh, <laughs> didn't have the, didn't have the original cast and like, yeah, it was just off the wall bonkers. But, uh, Ever seen Triple X? No. 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 <laughs> yeah, after like after a certain era in <clears throat> I would say like the late nineties, early two thousands, uh mm -hmm. it is it is hard to find an action movie that I have watched or enjoyed. <laughs> oh no, it's pretty awesome. Yeah, uh, Vin Diesel. Yeah, Vin Diesel is this underground. Um, everybody knows where his apartment is for a party. <laughs> and this underground ex extreme sports video game guy, right? Who the FBI recruited. Ooh. And uh, yeah, there's this All one right. part where he's like, okay, yeah, and there's this one part where he's like, stop thinking FBI and start thinking PlayStation. You know, when they're <laughs> in a gunfight. You know? well, yeah, and then. And then you know when he's running, he grabs a, a he he grabs a server tray from you know a restaurant or a waiter. Then he uses that to do a rail slide down you know uh, a handrail down a flight flight of stairs. Yeah, oh, shit. Yeah, and then uh, with some Tony Hawk level <laughs> pro skater <Tony>. level <laughs> level escapade. Yeah, yeah, and then um, <laughs> and then for the climax, he's snowboarding right, and then like nothing's better than some fresh powder and then like he does this like awesome jump over an explosion 
and then hate breeds i will be heard comes on and oh, it, it is just awesome yeah oh wow <laughs> that's crazy to have hate breeds. <laughs> yeah <laughs> Wow. See, now I would have never guessed in a million years. <laughs> like, uh, yeah. You can ask me, like, what's playing at the climax, at the pivotal moment in the in the mega sequence? And I would never say, well, it's got to be hate breed, right? <laughs> that would, like, my jaw would be on the floor <laughs> if I, I mean... This is mind blowing. Yeah, <laughs> and you know, no disrespect for uh, hate breed. Uh, you get your paycheck, but uh, yeah, this is uh, oh this for is sure. <laughs> yeah, have grab that bag, bitch. Yep, <laughs> the song does not match what's happening in the movie. It's, it's oh my God. actually it's not even a song. It's like uh, it should be gold jungle. <laughs> yeah, it should be uh. <laughs> But yeah, uh, it, it's not even the song. It's just a uh, explode. Uh, explosion goes off. He's in the air, and it's just, and then it's I will be heard. And then you know he's oh back to killing people. You know? Yeah. Oh, that's so much worse. <laughs> <laughs> God, that's crazy. Goldfinger, yeah. Oh, like uh, uh, trying to think of a Goldfinger song that could that would work with that. Um. <laughs> you tell me where your skeletons hide in. Tell me y'all, and I'll tell you. Yeah, that would work. <laughs> <laughs> nice Just to go along with that. To go along with that Nickelodeon movie, like. <laughs> <clears throat> oh man, uh, that's too good. Has anybody ever gifted you? Handmade socks, like say for Christmas or you know Easter. Uh, well, no, Day. no, I don't. No. no, I'm trying to think. I'm like trying to tap into my memory banks and like I know I've gotten, you know, when I was younger, I've gotten like handmade this and that from relatives and such, but mm -hmm. I don't think I've ever worn a pair of like. Handmade for me socks. And I wonder, I mean, I'm sure I can rectify that like online. There's got to be, there's yeah. got to be custom, like bespoke <laughs> sock makers. <laughs> yeah. I'm we sure there would have into to be. that. Yeah. We should all, I think we all deserve a nice pair of handmade socks. <laughs> yeah. Cashmere socks. Damn right. Ooh. Yeah. That's Cashmere. That seems that, <laughs> that seems dangerous, <laughs> but also luxurious and wonderful. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. <clears throat> well, what about uh, cashmere socks with little traction nubbies on them? Is that the is that the the perfect balance? Is that the sock of the I future? Think, oh my god! I think that I think that may be the access, uh, the apex of uh, access. Patent pending. The apex. Patent pending. <laughs> the apex of excess. There we go. Not yes. Pending. And that's what we all need. <laughs> Handmade cashmere socks. Traction pads. I mean, they got to be like, what? Probably in the shape of a lightning bolt or something rad. Uh, or an arrow. Like, like a... Uh, Zeus, I mean, it can't be circles. It can't be squares. That's fucking boring. It's been done. Oh yeah, that might be. Yeah. Mm. Ah, maybe just like a landing strip. <laughs> down, Flames down, down each one, <laughs> just to give you, because then you can kind of control it. You know, if you, uh, you know, if you're more flat-footed, then you get that little bit of grab. But if you're if you're cornering, you know, you can slide. Oh, oh yeah, there we go. Yeah. Yeah, that works for me. Okay. That, All right. Oh yeah. <laughs> and then there's gotta be yeah. <laughs> I think you may be on something here, Johnny. What else is it need? I mean, uh I mean it's, it's gotta, gotta be like, it's gotta like, be an ankle sock, right? 
Does it need like fins right. on it for speed or anything on the side? <laughs> Maybe not speed, but definitely aesthetics, you know. Some sort of a stability aid that we can build in, like uh Maybe uh, like some wheels at a, at an angle raised up a bit. So if you do get out of control, it's going to catch you. Now I don't want to say training wheels on these socks because that's not the <laughs> that's not the uh, the vibe that we're going for. Right, but, right. Uh, not training wheels. Uh, support wheels, and we yeah, need a something spoiler. yeah, something just to beef it up. You know, because you don't want to you don't want to <laughs> ass over tea kettle when you're trying to. Right. You're trying to make a sweet corner, <laughs> right? Right. Mm. But that seems like it's over engineering, doesn't it? Mm. I mean, to put I mean, wheels, what is to put wheels on socks? I think we're, I think we're maybe straying too far from from what it should well, be. Oh, well, what isn't over engineered these days? You know. Okay. I mean, fair point. Fair point. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right well we'll kick it around in the r&d department a little more and uh we'll come back right. with some prototypes i think excellent get those but engineers yeah, working again to state for the record patent pending <laughs> right <laughs> patent pending patent pending thing <laughs> <clears throat> and our our lawyers really need money ah <laughs> <So. laughs> oh, man you know, people who need money, salesmen. Like I made them. <laughs> I made them. Yeah. Don't leave you alone. I made the mistake of uh, yeah, just looking at some uh, uh, you know, property, and I get phone calls. Just you know. Oh God, yeah. Day and day, night, and they will not leave you alone. Like I don't even answer my phone because I know what it is. You know. <laughs> right. I. I recently looked into other insurance options <laughs> and <laughs> Jesus, even just that is, it's just nonstop. This lady from farmers, I mean, I blocked at least two numbers and she keeps fucking huh? calling. <laughs> like her use another phone at this point. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Like the next communication I'm expecting to get from her is like a brick through the window <laughs> with a note attached. Uh, yeah, here's your policy, bitch. You're right. <laughs> you're going to sign it, and you're going to return it between the hours of 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. <laughs> or the next notice is going to be a Molotov cocktail. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wake up ah. in bed in the morning next to the front axle of the car that <laughs> looks a lot like mine. <laughs> <laughs> If only you were covered for such an emergency. <laughs> yep, what a racket, man. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> All those bastards. Mm -hmm. <sighs> and, you know, make an honest living designing <laughs> cutting edge socks. <laughs> right, yeah. We just want to make some socks and, you know, yeah. Ah, my aunt and uncle owned a sock factory for a small sock factory for a, for a moment. What? Yeah. Like Are it, you I, I wouldn't. Oh, no. Um, <laughs> That's yeah. a crazy coincidence. Tell me everything. Right. 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 So, yeah, um, it was. Brief. I think they got so. Um, I used to live with my aunt and uncle, uh, shortly in Fort Payne, Alabama, also known as the sock capital of the world. Really? Right. Oh, right. Yeah. You so you actually you come from sock royalty in the in the <laughs> the sock garter belt of the South. <laughs> Not no. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. Oh, royalty, come on! But, don't uh, don't undersell yourself, there, son. Get in there. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, yeah. So you know how Texas has oil and Mass uh, Massachusetts or Maine has a uh, lobster. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, trying to think of some other industries. Uh, Alaska has king crab. Um, 
California has Hollywood. Fort Payne, Alabama has socks. Yeah. Wow. That's uh that's uh if you live in Fort Payne, Alabama, um you most likely work at a sock factory. No uh, shit. Yeah. And they also notable a uh, lock down there. Uh-huh. We never ran out of socks. Ah. Um but uh, also notable about Fort Payne, Alabama, it is also the home of the band Alabama. Really? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> My daddy was a sock maker. His daddy was a sock maker. His daddy, oddly enough, was a sock maker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So there is a uh, yeah, there is a Alabama museum. And oh. yeah, the police uh, patches say, the you know I don't know about now, but in 1993, you know their patches, you know had a you know Confederate flag and said "Home of Talk Alabama." Dick, what? <laughs> 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 what? What was it? I'm sorry. Oh, it said "Home of Alabama." Wow. Yeah. So Alabama was a big deal Damn. in Alabama. That's but, uh, crazy. Yeah, so, I want to go there. Right. <laughs> uh yeah so they uh they got the opportunity to i think they i don't know the financial thing or anything but uh uh buy a uh very small like uh facility and yeah that's what they did for a little while uh was just you know they had their own sock manufacturing uh facility <laughs> no shit yeah wow that's really cool. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. <laughs> um, you should probably take. <laughs> I yeah, I want to. I want to go back there too. I I looked it up recently, and it's like, uh, um, it's not as, um. It looks like there's a lot of uh, uh like uh hipster stuff there now, like you know, coffee really? shops and you know hiking yeah. and everything. So <laughs> small batch artisan crafted <laughs> hand loom socks. Yeah. Yeah. Probably, probably that you can oh, buy with your man. Uh, I mean your flavored olive oil kit. Yeah. Right. Well, as long as the scarf mafia doesn't start moving into town, you know. Yeah, that'd be that'd be <laughs> wild. Right, right. <laughs> we had six more people stabbed with knitting needles last night, Chief. What are we gonna do? Well, let's put another <laughs> wing on the Alabama Museum, and hopefully, people won't notice. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we gotta do. We gotta encourage them to go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna keep drinking this moonshine here. <laughs> yep, that's all you Until at least two of you shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, it's also a, it's a, uh, probably moonshine, uh, cause it's a, it's a dry county. So <laughs> it's also, I wonder if it still is. <laughs> you know, <Yeah. laughs> you know what else is dry down there? <laughs> <laughs> the lady. <Tell. laughs> <laughs> Go figure. Oh, Alabama and no booze doesn't uh, <laughs> doesn't make for a good time with the chicks. <laughs> uh, Alabama, <laughs> which is good because you know your ladies get too excited, they ruin their socks. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's again just physics. Mm. <sighs> Jesus. Well, that's a pretty pretty unsettling note that we should maybe uh, wrap this puppy up on. Man, sock yeah, talk. All right. A huge sock hit, talk. I would say. Sock I'm going to go is. ahead yeah, and yeah. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say we probably don't need Derek to come to any more of these. <laughs> nope, definitely not. <laughs> you should probably <laughs> <laughs> we should probably put a trademark on that and then um yeah then we will yeah <laughs> this will be it um we will no longer uh 
we will no longer be performing Here's a Scoop. It'll now be with the weekly sock talk with yeah. Josh and John. It's hard <laughs> yeah. to say. Every time it comes out of my mouth, I feel like I'm saying it wrong. Sock talk. Sock yeah. talk. Yeah, should... Sock, sock talk. talk. Sock talk. <laughs> so let's say, let's say it repeatedly until it loses its meaning. Sock talk. 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 Sock tal